morning guys welcome back to my channel so today guys is another video where i got inspired by of course the most famous pinterest and of course here on youtube i think i am the last person on earth to try to make a corset so it's quite obvious that I'm not trying to be trendy that would be obviously too late for it but I wanted to try it because I want to get some new sewing skills I want you to see that it's not so complicated and at the end I just wanted to make me cute corset top I definitely had some hiccups along the way but I learned something new and this is the point I have to say I am pleasantly surprised how it came out I hope you will too so now let's go ahead and let's see so once I was uh, sure that all the pattern pieces are matching correctly that everything is the way how I want it then I transferred uh, the pattern piece from the fabric that I drape on this and it's just a simple uh, plastic to cover the floor for example when you are painting and why this plastic because uh, it's transparent and as I will try to match um, the pattern on the fabric so finally I cut out all the pattern pieces I try to do my best to match them but um, it's just so many curves and the pattern is quite big so it was impossible to make it perfect now uh, I have to sew the side seams on each pattern pieces so from this side and then this side we will do also the same with the lining i am probably going to use some simple cotton fabric uh, because this is already too thick so something thinner will be i think better it's really important to mark all the notches and just pin them first So I sewn all these pieces on one side together, which is number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And number 1 and 2 I sewn together from each side. And now I will iron it and then I will attach like this to this part. It's a little bit curvy, but it's going to be fine. Keep loose and sleep while driving in the backseat. Left of me Drowning in my fears just like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder You know Sometimes everything just gets hard Also important is to do little cuts When you have curves So your fabrics can relax And you will be able to iron it nice And flat and in really nice shape so this is also very important when you are sewing anything that has curves now you will open the seams like this and iron it down so guys so far this is how it looks like I just have made half of it so this is from inside all the seams uh, ironed open it seems like it will have a nice shape if I was to do it again I would probably choose fabric that doesn't have such a big print or something that I don't have to uh, pattern match at all because it took me so much time so yeah if you don't want to be wasting so much time uh, for pattern matching uh, just choose something more simple because actually uh, if you skip this part uh, and you are going to choose some simple fabric it's going to be quite an easy project I think So guys, it's another day today, uh, yesterday it started to be too much sunny in this room and I wasn't sure how much you are actually able to see, so I let it be, I continue today. So this is how it looks like so far, I am really, really liking the shape of it. As far as I can see, I will need to take away a little bit, I'm quite satisfied with it. So let's continue and let's see how it will end up today. 
So for the lining I chose this blogging and fabric that I had laying around from another project that I did here on my channel and um, if I have to spoil it for you it ended up looking super cute so watch until the end guys to see the outcome. The same thing when I was sewing the shell part, first I sewn number one with two on each side and then three, four, five, six, seven, it's, this is done. I will sew two, three together on each side of the lining. As I was working on this project I found that the best method was to sew down part first, then make a slit in the fabric, twist it, pin it and sew the upper part until the seam lines meet in the middle. This was the best way of doing it and manipulating under sewing machine. So another tip from me guys. So this is my new line as I said, so I will go ahead and attach invisible zipper on this line, just like this. So from this moment you can completely ignore the part with invisible zipper and uh, for a simple reason, because it's not possible to use such zipper in this project as you need to get in and out of the corset, so you would need to use a zipper that can be open at the end, uh, disconnected, like for example on the jacket. So at the end I used eyelids, but everything else that I am showing you here, uh, please don't ignore. This is exactly how I did except the zipper part. Also here at the, at the end where the zipper is, I saw it the same, but I went back and removed the zipper, of course. So I matched uh, all the seams, uh, I inserted the ties where they're supposed to be and then I sew a straight stitch all around. So now I will sew it all the way around and here and then the down part will stay open. I think now I will just cut all the seam allowance and uh, I'm excited to see how it turned out. Here is another part where I got a little bit worried as uh, I turned it right side out. The lining was turning and flipping out so much but after simple top stitch all around, I was so surprised how professionally it looked like, in my opinion, of course, you can have your own, but it looked so nice and polished. I was really, really pleasantly surprised and from this point I was not worried at all and I was just so excited how it will turn out at the end. And again, spoiler alert, it looked amazing. So now I will sew a straight line on this seam uh, in order to create a tunnel and then I will insert this boning which has to be a little bit shorter because uh, here it will be also finished by bias binding so we have to be careful that it doesn't go over the line. Oh, 
Okay, so let's try if it works. I just put the tape on at the edges of these because they are quite spiky. So I don't want them to break the fabric. Okay, okay, one down. It doesn't look so great from inside, but nobody cares how it looks from there. At least I don't, so that's not the point. So now that it's sewn, I will again uh, cut a little bit of the seam allowance to reduce the bulk and turn it inside just like this and sew it again. So finally it's done guys, it took me some time, I promise you the last thing is to just choose the ribbon that I will like, so let's see how it turned out.